this is the situation. We have two of the scheduled tasks in our operations connector that uh, signed or set a parameter in the remote application using some curl to REST API uh, command. And one, every time they trigger, basically they, they create a new event. And if we look at all of the events, not just the active ones. So let's look at the active and inactive events. You see that uh, basically it says, Clip scenario starts, clip scenario ends, and it just alters between themselves. Although it looks a little bit weird over here, but uh, trust me, they do alter. So one of them is sent as a closed event. So we need to fix that. And wh what is it that we need to fix? We need to make sure that only one of those events is active. So basically, clip scenario starts is an open event that is sent to uh, uh, to the console and then when the clip scenario ends in five minutes uh, we need to uh, basically when, we, when this event is sent in a closed state it should eliminate this uh, this first event right so to do so we need to set up some rules and the rules are basically the correlation rules so we open the first one and we set the correlation. And not to confuse with T-back or NERS-back correlation, that's called the correlation key. So if I remember correctly, let me see if I didn't mess up with the terminology. Okay, we're still waiting, still waiting. Okay, trigger, login, slowness. Okay, start event. Okay, and then it's called event correlation. So we said we say ah, what's called scenario starts. Okay, and basically scenario ends, and I put a semicolon here. Uh, basically, it means that this parameter can change, and every time an event that is sent with this in the event key with this parameter, basically the event that was created like this is closed. And I'll, I'll show what I mean in a second. So I'll hit save. I just don't want to close the window. Never close the window unless you are certain that your policy works. It just takes too long to open it. And I'll open the other policy. And I'll just set the opposite, the exact opposite. So I can even copy paste. And copy pasting makes sure that I don't have any typos that I should figure out later from event details by cross verifying every single letter that's being sent to, to the system. So yeah, copy pasting really helps you. So even if you misspell a thing, the feature would still work because you just use the same parameter. So here we go and we do the exact revert. So this is trigger the end. Right, so it starts 10 minutes after the first one. And the close events keys from here, let me show you, it goes to the exact opposite over here. And here we have an option. Oh, come on. What, what, what's going on? Right, so it didn't copy, okay. So I take this and I copy it here and i reverse it so basically i have an option do i want to end the closed event or the event that's sent here uh, with uh, with a start event and the answer to this is yes yes i do by the way all of the events are sent on operations connector so they are outside of the scenario but a, a user still can observe the inner workings if they're looking at a different place in obm Okay, so I hit save on both of them and I go back to my op6 here and I reactivate the policy, basically updating the version. And now we need to pause this video to see how all of it uh, unfolds. Okay, so we can see the events for the last hour. You know what? I'll switch to this uh, view to the HTML file. Sorry, from, from HTML file, I'll switch to the flash view. Just because I, will, I uh, also like include active events. 
because I also like comparing those two in my videos and for myself until I am fully sure that all of those uh, basically events are uh, showing what I need, that they are compatible. Okay, so here I see that the time received is actually not the filter, it was uh, filtered by title. So now it makes a little bit more sense. So uh, this eclipse scenario ends, but where is the start? That's the start, 5.45, that's the end, 5.55. Okay, so now I need to go through the whole cycle on a pause and we'll see the end result. And also probably, you know, just to make it clean, I'll close all of them. And I reset the HIs. Just to make it a little bit clearer. Yeah, now all of them are closed. And this is the same situation over here. It should refresh itself, but still, let's just, yep, everything is closed. All right, so let's hit the pause key and look at the result at the end. Uh, we'll see the result in about 25 minutes because we need to wait for a new cycle to begin, uh, which would be nine minutes from now it would begin. So 24 minutes from now we will know what's going on. So pause. Okay, so that moment of silence there was actually me trying to record the effect while having a chat with IT about Windows expiration. My laptop thinks that its Windows is no longer valid, so I was on a call with them and I tried to sneak in the <laughs> effect. All right, so this is what we have. This is from a closed and open event perspective so far, and as you've seen, we kind of switched from scenario starts to scenario ends. Okay, so those, all of those are, can be disregarded. They're just basically old events and, yep. Okay. Oh, come on. I want you to see the effect right now. Okay. So we got this one. That, that's the uh, event that cleared out the scenario start. So all of those are historic ones, but you see the one that starts 10 minutes before it, we can see it from here. We have start, end, and 5.10, 5.10. This is the interval, but this one actually surpassed the previous one. It closed it, and we've seen that it closed it. So in about, in a few seconds from now, in 15 seconds, this event here would be closed, and the eclipse scenario starts would replace it. And that would mean that we actually did what we need to do in order to make it, ah, there we go. Great success, great success. Okay, if you liked it, <laughs> please subscribe. I'm going to be building a few more videos about this one. Another task is completed. I'm switching immediately to my next uh, goal here for the building the demo. So I'll see you in the next one.